The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number seven, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August 7th, 1973, in London, England. Translation. Now I am confused about my duty and have lost all composure because of weakness. In this condition I am asking you to tell me clearly what is best for me. Now I am your disciple, and the soul surrendered unto you. Please instruct me. This is an important verse in Yogamad Gita. It is a turning point of life. Kārpanna dūsa, my darling, dūsa means fault. When one does not act according to his position, uh, that is fault. Uh, and that is called my darling. So, Everyone has got his natural propensities. Sabhav. Jasya hi jas sabhavasya tasya su durutikram. Sabhav, natural propensities. It is a common example it is given that jasya hi jas sabhavasya tasya su durutikram. One habit is the second nature. One who has is habituated, or one is nature characteristic in some way. It is very difficult to change. Uh, the example is given: Swadhi kriyate raja sapinasmu tupanam. If you make a dog a king, does it mean that he will not lick a shoe? Yes, dog's nature is to lick a shoe. So even if you dress him like a king and let him sit down on a throne, so still as soon as he will see one shoe, he will jump over and do. This is called sabhav. So in the animal life, it is not possible to change one's nature. Which is given by uh, being uh, material energy, prakriti, prakriti kriyamana. Karanam gunasanga sap, karanam gunasanga asa sadasad janma junishu. Why all living entities are part and parcel of God. Therefore, originally, the characteristic of the living entity is as good as God. Simply, it is a question of quantity. Quality is the same. Quality is the same. Mamai Vāṁ you. The same example, if you take a drop of sea water, the quality, the chemical composition is the same, but the quantity is different. It is a drop and the sea is vast ocean. Similarly, we are exactly of the same quality as Krishna. We can study why people say God is impersonal. If I am uh, of the same quality, so God is also person. How he can be in person? Uh, if qualitatively we are one, then as I feel individually, so why God should be refused individuality? This is another nonsense. The impersonal is rascal. They cannot understand what is the nature of God. In the Bible also it is said, man is made after God. You can study God's quality by studying your quality or anyone's quality. 
Simply the difference is the quantity is different. Uh, I have got some quality, some uh, productive capacity. We also produce. Every individual soul is producing something. But his production cannot be compared with the production of God. That is this. We are producing one flying machine. Uh, we are taking very uh, much pride that now we have discovered this Sputnik. Uh, it is going to the moon planet. Uh, but that is not perfect. It is coming back. Uh, but God has produced so many flying planets, uh, millions and trillions of planets, very heavy, heavy planets. Just like this planet is uh, carrying so many big, big mountains, sea, but still it is flying. It is floating in the air just like a cotton uh, swab. This is God's power. Gama uh, Vishya. And the Bhagavad Gita is fine. Aham Dharayami Ojasa, who is sustaining all these big, big planets. Uh, we are explaining gravity. Uh, and when this hastra, we find that it is being uh, carried by Shankarsa. Uh, so the quality is the same, uh, but the quantity is different. So, because the quality is same, so we have got all the propensities as God has, as Krishna has. Krishna has got loving propensities, with his pleasure potency, Srimati Rādhāra. Similarly, because we are part and parcel of Krishna, we have also got this loving propensity to... This is sabhāp. But when we come in contact with this material nature, Krishna does not come into the contact of the material nature. Uh, therefore Krishna's name is Ochyuta. He never falls down. But we are prone to fall down, uh, to be under the uh, prakite uh, kriyamana. Uh, we are now under the influence of prakite, prakite kriyamana, gunai karmanisa. Uh, as soon as we fall down under the clutches of this prakriti, material nature, which means prakriti is composed of three qualities, goodness, passion, and ignorance. So we capture one of the qualities. Uh, that is the cause, karanam, guna-saṅga, guna-saṅga, means associating with different qualities. Uh, guna-saṅga, asya, uh, jiva-sa of the living entity, that is the cause. One can ask that if the living entity is as good as God, why one living entity has become dog and one living entity has become God, devil God, Brahma? That the answer is karana. The reason is guna-saṅga asya, asya jīvasya, guna-saṅga. Uh, because he is associating with a particular guna. Uh, Satagon, Rajagon, Tamagon. Uh, so these things are described very vividly in Upanishad. How guna sangha acts. Uh, just like a fire, there are sparks. They sometimes the sparks fall down from the fire. Now there are three conditions of the fire spark falling down. If the spark falls down on dry grass, then it can immediately ignite uh, the grass, the dry grass. If the uh, spark falls down on uh, ordinary grass, then it uh, burns for some time, then again it becomes extinguished. But if the spark falls down on the water, immediately extinguished. The fiery quality. So those who are uh, captured by the satogon, uh, satogon, uh, they are intelligent, they have got knowledge, uh, just like Brahma. Uh, and those who are uh, 
captured by the Rajogon, they are busy in material activities. And those who have captured uh, Tamagon, they are lazy and sleepy. These are the symptoms. Uh, Tamagon means they are very lazy and sleepy. Uh, Rajagon means very active, uh, but active like monkey. Just like monkey is very active, but they are all dangerous. As soon as the monkey will never see inactive, whenever it is sit down, it will never. That, 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 that. So uh, these are activities, foolish activities. But when one is in goodness, he is sober, he can understand what is the value of life, how one should live, what is the aim of life, what is the goal of life. Uh, the goal of life is to understand Brahma. Brahma jānāti is the Brahmana. Therefore, the good quality means the Brahmana. Uh, similarly, Kshatriya. So they are uh, guna-karma vibhāgs. Guna. Uh, guna has to be taken into account. Uh, uh, Sri Krishna therefore says, chātur bannaṁ maya sistaṁ guna-karma vibhāg. So we have captured some kind of guna. It is very difficult. But uh, we can immediately transcend all gunas. Immediately. How? By bhakti yoga class. Sagunan samati taitan brahma bhuyaya kalpati. If you take the bhakti yoga process, then you are no longer influenced by either of these three qualities goodness, passion, and ignorance. That is also stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Mancha bhadi charini bhakti yogi naja srivati. Uh, anyone who is engaged in the devotional service of Krishna, a babhicharini, without any deviation, uh, staunch, devout attention, uh, such person, mancha babhicharini yogina, mancha babhicharini yogina vajatema, sahunana samatita, immediately he began. Uh, transcendental to all the qualities. So devotional service is not within this material quality. They are transcendental. A bhakti is transcendental. Therefore, you cannot understand Krishna or God without bhakti. Bhaktyama Mahavijana. Only Bhaktyama Mahavijana. Otherwise, it is not possible. Bhaktyama Vijana ki javan jasyami tattva. Reality. In reality, if you want to understand what is wrong, that you have to adopt this bhakti process, devotional service. Then you transcend. Therefore, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Narada says that tattva sadharmam charanam bhujam hari. If anyone, even by sentiment, uh, gives us, gives uh, up his uh, occupational duty according to guru. That is called sadharma. Sadharma means one's duty according to the quality he has acquired. That is called sadharma. The brāhmaṇa, kṣatriya, vaiṣya, śudra, they are divided, guna karma vibhāga, by guna and karma. Uh, so here Arjuna says, the tatpanna dosa apahata sabhava. I am khatriya. He understands that I am doing wrong. I am refusing to fight. Therefore it is tatpanna dosa, miserly. Miserly means I have got some means to spend. But if I don't spend, this is called miser. Hipanata. So people are told there are two classes of men, Brahman and Sudra. Brahman and Sudra. Brahman means he is not miser. He has got the opportunity, great asset of this human form of body, many millions of dollars worth. 
this human. But he is not using it properly. So simply seeing it, how beautiful I am. Thus spend your beauty. Or utilize your asset, the human world. That is Brahma. To be liberal. Eta Bidityaja Prayati is a Brahman. One who knows. Therefore, Pulat Mana says, Durla Bhava Mana Sama Janma. Adhruvam or Sadam. He was preaching amongst his class friends. He was born in a demonic family, Hiranagasipu. And his class friends also, of the same category. So Prahlad Maharaj was advising them, my dear brothers, let us cultivate Krishna consciousness. So other boys, what do they know about Krishna consciousness? Prahlad Maharaj is liberated from the very birth. So they say, what is this Krishna consciousness? They could not understand. So he was convincing them, Durlabhava Mahanasana Janma, Tadapi, Adhurvam Arthala. This human body is Durlabhava. Lamthasu Durlabhava Midam, Bhagavan Bhavan. This human form of body is a great concession given by the material age. People are so miscreant and foolish. They do not understand what is the value of this human form. They engage this body for sense gratification like cats and dogs. The Shastra therefore says, no, this human form of body is not meant for uh, spoiling like the hogs and dogs. Nāyaṁ dīhā, dīhā hājāṁ nilu. Everyone has got a body, material body. But Niloka, in the human society, this body is not to be spoiled. Nāyam ayana deha, deha bhājāna niloka, kastāna kāmāna arhati viruvajāna. This human follower has simply working uselessly hard day and night for sense gratification. This is the business of the home and dog. They are doing also the same thing. Hold their night working hard simply for sense gratification. So, therefore, in the human society, uh, there must be a system of division. That is called Varnasamdha. That is Vedic civilization. That is real called Arya Samaj. Arya Samaj does not mean to become rascal and fool and deny the existence of God. No. That is an arjya. That kind of Krishna rebuked Arjuna. An arjya just come. You are talking like an arjya. One who is not Krishna conscious is an arjya. An arjya. Arjya means who is advanced in Krishna consciousness. So really arjya samadhi means Krishna conscious person. Otherwise, bogus. Bogus adjus. Because here from the Bhagavad Gita, I see, Krishna says, Arjuna, rebuke him. Because he was refusing to fight, because he does not know what is his duty, again, Arjuna is admitting here that Katpanda do so pahatas salah. Yes, I am anas, I become anas, because I have forgotten my duty. So, actually, Arjuna Samadhi, means Krishna conscious society, international society for Krishna. Very large. Not bogus. So here Arjuna is explaining, putting himself, yes, Katparna dosha, because I am forgetting my duty. Therefore, avata sabhava, I am bewildered in my natural propensities. Khatriya should be always active. Whenever there is a war, there is fight, they must be very much enthusiastic. A khatriya, if another khatriya says, 
I want to fight with you. He or he cannot refuse. Oh, yes, come on, fight. Take so uh, immediately, come on. That is Kaktriya. Uh, now he is refusing to fight, therefore he is forgetting his duty, Kaktriya duty. Uh, therefore he is admitting, yes, Katpanna Dur. Katpanna Dur so apahata sabhav. My natural duty I am forgetting. Therefore I have become miser. Therefore, uh, so so when you become miser, that is a disease condition. <coughs> then what is your duty? Then go to a person who can just like when you become diseased, you go to a physician and ask him what to do, sir. I am not suffering with this disease. This is your duty. Similarly, when we are perplexed in our duties or we forget our duties, it is uh, uh, very nice to go to the uh, superior person and ask him what to do. So who can be superior person than Krishna? Uh, therefore Arjuna says, Prichyami Tma, I am asking you. Uh, because it is my duty, I am now uh, falling in my duty, faulty. So this is not good. Sai uh, Masa ask uh, somebody who is superior to me. Uh, that is the duty. Tarvigyana thamsa gurumeva avigachi. This is the basic duty. Uh, everyone is perplexed. Everyone is suffering in this material world, being perplexed. But he will not search out a bona fide guru, no. Uh, that is Katpanna Dusha. That is Katpanna Dusha. Here Rajo is coming out of the Katpanna Dusha. Uh, how? They ask him Krishna. Vichyani Tvam, my dear Krishna, you are the most superior person that I know, your Krishna. So I am perplexed. Actually I am forgetting my duty. Therefore, I am asking you. So you have to approach the Supreme Person means Krishna or his representative. All others are rascals and fools. If you approach a person, Guru, who is not representative of Krishna, you are approaching a rascal. How will you like? You must approach Krishna or his representative. That is one. Tadvigyanathamsa guru meva vivatche. So, who is guru? Samitpani sutriyam brahmanishtam. A guru is full Krishna consciousness. Brahmanishtam. And sutriyam. Sutriyam means who has heard, who has received knowledge by the sutriyam patha by hearing from superior authority, evam parampara praptam imam raja So here we have to learn from Arjuna that when we are perplexed, when we forget our real duty and therefore we are puzzled, then our duty is to approach Krishna as Arjuna is. He to say, where is Krishna? Krishna is not there. But Krishna's representative is there. Uh, you should approach him. That is the basic intention. Tadvigyana Thamsa Guru Meva Vivachi. One must approach Guru. Uh, and Guru means Krishna, original. Uh, guru, Tene Brahma Rida Adikavai, Muyanti Jatsurayo, Janma Adrasya Jataha, Annaya Titadatascha, Athesu Avigna Sara. You have to approach. Uh, uh, that is Guru. Uh, so we consider, we take Brahma because he is the first creature within this universe. He is accepted as the Guru. Uh, he uh, imparted, just like we belong to the Brahma Sampradaya. There are uh, four Sampradayas, Brahma Sampradaya, Sri Sampradaya, Rudra Sampradaya and Kumara Sampradaya. There are Mahajan. Mahajana Jinagata Sapantha. We have to accept 
the line of action which is given by the Mahaja. So Brahma is Mahaja. You will find Brahma's picture with Veda in his hand. He gave, he gave the first instruction of Veda. But where from he got the Vedic knowledge? Therefore Vedic knowledge is apurasya. It is not man-made. It is God-made. Dharmanta sāksādu bhagavattanita. So how God, Krishna, gave to Brahmā? Tene Brahmā Rida. Brahma, Brahma means the basic knowledge. Shabda Brahma, Tene, he injected basic knowledge from Gita. Tizam satatu jittanam bhajatam priti buddha. When Brahma was created, he was perplexed. What is my duty? Everything is dark. So he meditated. And Krishna gave him knowledge that your duty is this. You do like this. Tene Brahma Dira Adikavai Adikavai Brahma is Adikavai. So actual Guru is Krishna. And here Krishna is advising the Bhagavad Gita. These rascals and fools will not accept Krishna as Guru. They will go to some rascal and fool and miscreants, sinful person and accept Guru. How you can be Guru? So Guru is Krishna. Here is the example given by Arjuna. Prichyami Tma, who is that one? Krishna. Why you are asking me? Dharma Sangamura Sita. I am builder in my duty. Dharma. Dharma means duty. Dharma Sāsāt Bhavatu. Sangamura Sita. So, what I have to do? Just Shreya. What is actually my duty? Shreya. Shreya and Preya. Preya, there are two things. Preya means which I like immediately. Very nice. And Shreya means ultimate goal. There are two things. Just like a child wants to play all day. That is child's nature. That is Shreya. And Priya means he must take education so that in future his life will be secular. That is Priya. Uh, Shreya. So Arjuna is asking not Priya. Uh, he is asking instruction from Krishna not for the purpose of confirming his Shreya. Shreya means immediately he was thinking that I shall be happy by not fighting. Not by killing my kinsman. That he was like a child he was thinking. Shreya. But when he came to his consciousness, not actually consciousness because he is intelligent, he is asking for prayer. Shreya. Just Shreya. Shreya. What is actually my ultimate goal of life? Just Shreya. Shreya. Nishchitam. Nishchitam means fixed up, without any mistake, nishchita. In Bhagavad Gita it is called nishchita. Nishchita means you haven't got to make research. It is already settled up. This is the decision. So because we are, with our teeny brain, we cannot find out what is the actual nishchita fixed up shreya. That we do not know. That you have to ask from Krishna. Or the representative. These are the things. Jatche asyad nishchitam bruhi ton me. Say this kindly. Speak to me that. So why shall I speak to you? And here says, Shishya se ham. Now I am accepting you as my guru. I become your shishya. Shishya means whatever you will say, I will accept. That is shishya. The shishya word comes from sasdhāku. Sasdhāku. Sāstra. Sāstra. Sāsa. Shishya. These are from the same root. Sasdhāku. 
Because dhatu means rule, ruling. Uh, so we can rule in various ways. Uh, we can be ruled becoming a sister uh, of a proper guru. Uh, that is sattva. Or we can be ruled by shastra, weapon. Uh, that's why a king has got weapon. If you don't follow the king's instruction or government's instruction, then there is police uh, force, military force. That is shastra. And there is shastra. Shastra means book. Scripture, just like Bhagavad Gita. Everything is there. So we must be ruled either by Shastra, Shastra, or Guru, or becoming Shisha. Therefore it is said, Shisha I become voluntarily. I surrender them to you. So you become Shisha, what is the proof that you have become my Shisha? Sadhiman Swan Prabhannam. I am fully silent. Purpose. Ah. So this knowledge requires how to find out real guru and how to surrender and teach him. Ah. The guru does not mean that I keep a guru ah, so as order supplier. Ah. My dear Guru, I am suffering from this. Can you give me some medicine? Yes, yes. Take this medicine. Yes. <coughs> Not that good. Uh, if you are suffering from some disease, you go to a physician. It is not Guru's business uh, to give you some medicine. Uh, Guru's business is to give you Krishna. Krishna says, Tomar Krishna Dite Pa. Uh, uh, is praying Guru. Sir, uh, you are devotee of Krishna. Uh, you can give me Krishna, if you like. This is the position of Shishra. Guru's business is how to give you Krishna, not any material things. For material things there are so many uh, in institution. Uh, but if you want Krishna, then Guru is required. Uh, who, who requires a Guru? Kasmat gurum prapadvita jignasu sreya uttamam sabde parichanishnatam brahmani upasamasrayam. Who requires a guru? Guru is not a fashion. I have got a guru. I shall make a guru. Guru means one who is serious. Kasmat gurum prapadvita. One has to seek out a guru. Why? Jignasu sreya uttamam. One who is inquisitive and the supreme. Uh, not guru make a fashion, just like we keep a dog fashion. Similarly, we keep a guru. That is not guru. Uh, <coughs> guru is act according to my decision. Not like that. Guru means uh, one who can give you Krishna. That is it. Krishna says to man, because Krishna is guru. Uh, that is stated in the Brahma Sangita. Bede Sudur Lava, Adur Lava Apo Bhakto. Bede Sudur Lava. If you want to search out, although Vedas means knowledge, and the ultimate knowledge is to understand Krishna. Bede is to search out, Ahami Vavidya. This is the instruction. So, if you independently want to study, Veda, uh, that there, there are some rascals. They say that we understand only Veda. And what do you understand Veda? I will understand Veda. Uh, so Veda says Sadvigana Atumsa Guru Meva Gatche. You will understand Veda by taking one Pachisima and Veda's book or taking it, you will understand Veda's. Uh, Veda is not so cheap thing. Uh, without becoming a Brahmana, nobody can understand a Veda. What is Veda? Therefore, it is restricted. Without becoming Brahmana, nobody is allowed to study Veda. It's all nonsense. What do you understand about the Veda? Uh, uh, so, therefore, in order to achieve the highest goal of life, one should uh, fully surrender to Krishna or his representative, then his life is successful. Thank you.